So over the past six months, I've been driving the 3 Series GT. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been really pleased with this car. It's been a pleasure to drive. It's softer than the normal 3 Series, but when you want to have some fun, like I say, you still can. You've got rear-wheel drive chassis, you've got sharp steering. It's a stretch version of the 3 Series saloon, but you've got a hatchback, and actually, you get more rear leg room, I think, than the 5 Series. And you've got more boot space than the 3 Series Touring. I've actually used this car for, for carrying things about, been doing loads of DIY because I've just been renovating my flat so I've had huge ladders in it fold the seats down it can carry loads of stuff and yes it's not probably as sharp looking as the saloon but the trade-off is that it's a lot more practical you know I'm getting old now you see I'm getting old things like comfort and practicality matter a bit more than sporty handling and sharp looks this particular model is the luxury and so it's pretty well equipped it starts at 34,000 pounds but we've still managed to put 12 grand of options on it, right? One of the, one of the really good options is the eight-speed automatic gearbox, and it's got paddle shifter, so you can change gears yourself. And it's so smooth when you want it to be, but you put it into sports mode, and then when you change gears using the paddles, you get this like little jolt as you change up, and it makes it feel really sporty. I've also got the M Sport suspension, which lets you alter the, the stiffness of the suspension at the touch of a button. And actually, the way I drive this car, I have the suspension set up on soft, so it's nice and comfy, you know, just like wafting around. But I have the, the powertrain in sport mode, so you get that fast throttle response. Another option that we got on this car is the professional sat-nav, so the car, I think the luxury gets sat-nav, but this one is the wider screen version, it just looks nicer. We've got panoramic sunroof, which I like, the xenon headlamps. One of the options that I wouldn't bother with really is the heads-up display. I, I don't know what it is about me, but I, I never seem to look at it. You know, we don't want to know the speed. I always just, I don't know, it's just a matter of habit because of the way you know, I've been driving for 20 years. I look down and I just look at the normal dials. One of the things I've learned, which is it's a good thing actually, I mean, I, I went for the light interior. Everyone said, no, you shouldn't do that because it's going to get all tatty. And to be fair, the seats, they started to turn blue because I always wear jeans and just seem to absorb the, the blue dye from the denim like a sponge. But I you know, just cleaned it the other day and got it looking light new. What I haven't been able to get light new, although to be honest, I've only tried to hoover them, is the floor mats. And yeah, light floor mats is never a good idea. A few people have complained about the fact that you don't get a rear windscreen wiper, but that actually hasn't been a problem for me at all. I haven't really noticed it. And some people don't like the iDrive system. And to be fair, I didn't used to like them. I used to prefer touch screens. But actually, now I'm used to it, I find it really easy to just whiz through menus and stuff. Because, you know, when you're doing a touch screen, sometimes you like go over a bump and you, it, it's hard to aim your finger, whereas you can't kind of go wrong with a, a swivel wheel, unless you're an idiot. This particular car is the 328i. So we've got a two litre turbocharged petrol engine. It's got it's 242 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 is 6.1 seconds. MPG, according to BMW anyway, is 44 miles per gallon. Now, when I first got this car, I drove really slowly to see if I could, you know, get 44 miles per gallon. And I did, but it was really hard doing that. And subsequently, after kind of just driving this car around normally, I'm nowhere near 44 miles per gallon. I was actually averaging around 28 miles per gallon because well there's something about this engine it's it's really good fun to rev and so you do tend to thrash it more than you would a diesel where you kind of just coast along on the torque and that does affect the economy i think if i was to have this car i would probably go for the 320d that's got enough performance it's got good economy 318d i felt was a little bit slow but yeah this 320d version of this with the right options great car.